It's beer o'clock on Reload Craft Beer. Today we've got a can of Green Beacon Brewing Company's The Whaler Blood Orange IPA coming in at 6.5% ABV. There's a look at the can. Really cool looking can. This beer's come all the way from Australia. It's a fresh beer from Australia. And I'd like to thank Mick. Thank you very, very much, Mick, for sending me the beer. I think it's a 375 can, 6.5% ABV. Man, many, many thanks to Mick for sending me the can. It would just be completely impossible to try Australian fresh craft beer without people out there from their countries sending us beer on the channel that's super fresh and it's great so a massive massive thank you to Mick he's been supporting our channel for whew, it's got to be 18 months two years he's been sending us beer massive support thank you very much without further ado let's get it out into a glass see what we get nice bit of smoke on the can opening beer in the glass then without further ado I always struggle with that. Without further ado, what did I say? Without further ado, it just it just didn't didn't kind of didn't come out properly. Sometimes I have to think about my pronunciations. See, I nearly got that wrong. <laughs> One to two finger, white head, hazy. Lovely looking beer, good carbonation rolling up the side of the glass. Let me show you that there. It looks really good. Really pleased with the look of this. A blood orange IPA. Let's get the aroma on this light, hazy coloured ale. What is a light hazy colour there? Can I pronounce can I can I give you a better example of that? That's not a very good description, is it? A light hazy coloured ale. Straw coloured hazy ale. Better. Aroma. Oh, but I can get this one right. There's that orange. You definitely get that orange in there. What they call it blood orange. That's my favourite. My favourite. How many times do I say blood orange on the channel? Fleshy blood orange in the aroma. Grapefruits. Mango. Should we dive in? Cheers, everybody. Oh. Oh my goodness me, I gotta put this down. Stone the Crows! Stone the Crows are an amazing beer. Blood orange, fleshy blood orange, grapefruit, all those lovely citrusy flavours is coming on the why is it coming on the it's coming on the front of the palate, it's coming on the back of the palate, some bitterness on the back end, it's some lovely flavours bursting through at the beginning of the palate. It's citrusy, some lemon. It's like biting into an orange peel. It's like biting into a lemon peel. Boom! Loads and loads of hot flavour. Terrific, terrific beer. The whaler. I've never been whaling. Maybe, maybe I should get out whaling with a few cans of this. And have a great time. Big bag of crisps. On a boat. A few cans of that. Searching for the giant whale to catch. Boom! That is so tasty. That is such a tasty, juicy, fresh. And that's the big word, fresh. Fresh beer. Craft beer in a can has made it so much more accessible. Mick sends me giant tubes of beer. Probably six cans in each tube. You know the post office tubes you get, the big long... Uh, I was teasing my dog with it when I finished, when, when I finished unpacking, I was like... Brrrr, and the dog was like... It was kind of, it was kind of calling me, he couldn't work out where the voice was coming from. But... So accessible. If you were to put glass bottles in a tube, sent them from Australia, all the way to the UK, probably, I don't know, two days on a plane, <laughs> 
and uh, by the time it sits in warehouses and and then makes it way makes his way here two three days it would be smashed up completely smashed up with glass the very fact that this beard is probably only a few weeks old i think mick was saying that about a month or two old and then now from brisbane australia to the uk in a can perfect condition there's not a dent on that can look at it it's amazing absolutely amazing love it and of course cans of craft beer hold their freshness longer they don't let any light in to, for the for the diacetol to get started it's amazing it's amazing and of course it's that and that's the i've talked about the portability of craft beer in a can before many times before and i often talk about the beach I've been in Spain on holiday and they said no glass bottles on the beach. I've been drinking my Paul and my vice beer. And they were like, you're going to have to get off the beach with that bottle. I'm like, man, what? Do you see the yes, the sun's out? I want to drink my vice beer on the beach. Leave me alone. No problems with the can. No problems whatsoever. I understand it. Nobody wants glass on a beach. Nobody wants to cut their feet and whatever and whatever. This is not a political message whatsoever. Um, but yeah. The ultimate message is, portability-wise, this beer has made it all the way from Australia to the UK without a dent in a can. Cheers to that. Nice carbonation. The hops. Probably some Galaxy. Should we have a look? Ah, they use... Uh, they got a they got a spring hazy IPA bosom with fresh orange and flavors of spring. Oh, flavors of spring! Spring in Australia. It's really weird because it's the opposite in Australia. I'm recording this video on the fourth of October, twenty eighteen. It's quite daunting because we're heading into another long winter here in the UK. It's pitch black outside. It's dark. It's going to be dark for six months, really, after seven o'clock. Quite a daunting kind of prospect not one that i enjoy too much um and then you've got australia other side of the world they'd enter in spring they've had their winter they're going into spring uh, which is my favorite time of year i love spring i love to see the yeah spring is a perfect word for that time of year everything's springing at the ground the daffodils the flowers it's beautiful so yeah that's what they mean by spring on the back of this can the whaler has big citrus hop character and a smooth refreshing finish certified independent i really like that as well see that where my little pinky is my little finger certified independent that means that if a big brewery came along and bought this company up it might make the owner very happy he might make a few million pounds but that certified independent will get taken off the can um, these guys are an independent small brewery, which which is great. It's great, and I, I like that that badge. I like that stamp. Um, it probably will stop a lot of the buyouts going forward in the craft beer industry. Anyway, let's rate this beer. Terrific beer. The Whaler Blood Orange IPA by Green Beacon Brewing Company for me is a stone the crows 9 out of 10. It's a 9 out of 10 from Reload Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom and cheers.